Well, we woke up this morning to something a little different, but not unexpected. Have a look. Yes, we got about two inches of snow, which does not play into my plans today. Uh, we were going to make cut some videos today of uh, training diesel. I kind of got put on hold because everything is wet. One thing that is not on hold is I'm going to install a new protective floor in the back of my truck here. I'll show you that. Uh, diesel's in and out, and rather than get mud all over the carpet, I got something I think that might have worked for you. It's a little DIY floor install. Cheap. Y'all know me, it's cheap. So we decided we'd make our way down to the river here to see how things are. There is one boat in the water, so somebody's been out musky fishing. That is a diehard musky fisherman. Good luck to you. I hope you get something in this weather. Uh, it's it's the snow's not too bad. It's not thick. Let's say there's a lot of it coming down, but it's not very thick. All right, guys. Well, clearly I waited till dark to do this. First thing I'm going to do is cut out a template on the floor as to what I want, and then I'm going to take it inside and I'm going to cut it on top of the mat. So when I get inside, I'll give you a little better description of the matting that I'm using. It's not just an ordinary mat. It's uh. Well, actually, they're 24 by 24 inch squares, but it's for gym floors, so it should be a little more rugged. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out, and hopefully you can see. All right, guys, I'm doing this on my GoPro. I already know the low light is terrible. I've got a couple of brackets along the back here. So I've got my template on the floor. I've got my brackets drawn out in marker. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the brackets out. I'm going to slide this up into place, then I'm going to move it forward, and I'm going to cut out where it's going to go under the front seats just a little bit. Alright, so it's cut on both sides. Move that up into place up there. It's in place on the other end. I just roll it forward. Finish cutting the rest of it out. Hopefully, this works. All right, so we got our rough cut done. We're gonna take our template and our mats inside. I'm gonna trim the template up so that it fits nice and neat. And I'm gonna put it on top of the mats and then we'll cut the mats out. Let's go inside where it's a lot warmer. guys this is twice that I've tried to complete this video and ran out of daylight let me show you what we're working with here 
So this is the matting that I'm talking about. It comes in a 24 inch by 24 inch square section. It also has edging that comes with it and it's all interchangeable. The good part about this is, is when the dog jumps in the back and if your toenails happen to rip this which is highly unlikely and I can just pull this section out and put another section in. If it wears out over time I can pull the section out and put another section in. The only drawback that I can see to this joint is maybe some water or something get down inside there and get down onto the carpet. The whole idea is just to protect the carpet. So I used a total of I think six pieces, five or six pieces to cut out the template for the floor. I apologize I don't think my GoPro did very well in the low light in the back of my truck again. I'm twice running out of daylight trying to get this video done. But what I got here is about three quarters of an inch thick. This is a nice dense foam with a semi hard shell on top. Now we use these at uh, Jen's Fitness Studio. Uh, they've been in there for quite a while and they are not wearing out at all. So I thought we got extras. I'm going to put them in my truck. I even got enough to do the bed of my truck. The only concern with that is, is do I really want to throw a deer on top of that? And yeah, why not? I'm gonna say this probably cost about thirty-five dollars to put this floor in the back of my truck. That's just the cost of materials. Cutting it was a breeze. Now, yeah, there are rollout mats you can put in there and things of that nature. I had this, so I thought, what the hell? Let's throw it in the back of my truck. I'm quite happy it's there because now diesel is not gonna make a mess all over my carpet. So if I'm not mistaken, this stuff came in a eight piece bundle or a six piece bundle and I think it was about thirty five to forty dollars for the six pieces so we'll say thirty five bucks to do the back of my truck and not to mention I think it looks pretty good in there too now one part in the back of the truck back up underneath the seats as you get underneath the seat it actually goes up and then levels off and kind of drops down a bit I left it long so that this so that the flooring will go up hopefully over time it will lay down over top if not it's simply a matter of just cutting it off and now it's just going to lay flat on the floor. We'll see how that goes. I may have to trim it. I may just leave it. But I'm quite happy with the way it turned out. thought I'd bring that to you. Like I said, it took me a couple of days to do this. I've been running out of daylight and running out of daylight again today. But that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. A little DIY flooring for the back of your pickup truck so your dog doesn't rip apart your carpet. Like today I came home and he ripped apart my kitchen. We still love them. See y'all in the next one. Later. All right, guys, one last tip. If you want to make this flooring waterproof, where the joints are, you take your Gorilla Glue, once it's together, you put it across the top on all the zigzag patterns here. And that will just keep it all together as well as stop the water from going in between the seams. If you do have to replace a piece of the flooring, you just take your X-Acto knife, run it along the edge, pull out your piece, put a new piece in. You have to try that to see if it really works there.